This is the ESC. First end we don't care about. So this one goes into the receiver. This one goes into the battery. This has a Dean connectors on it. I could make a whole video about Dean connectors. I hate Dean connectors. But in the beginning everybody said to me, hey use Dean connectors, they're the best thing. I really don't like them. I will make a long list one day of why I don't like Dean connectors. But this end is the one that will go into your electrical engine. They are not color coded in any way. It does not matter, but this is the layout of the ESC. Yours might vary a little, but the layout should be pretty much the same. This is your engine. Three wires, funny enough, it's the same, same number of wires as on your ESC. In this case, these are color coded, it does not matter. The only thing I will say here is put some kind of connector on it. Don't try to solder the wires directly to the ESC wire. That's just being plain lazy. Do it like this, put on a connector. But this is the layout of your engine. Now we will have to put them together. This always confuses people, but it really doesn't matter how you put them together. Just take them any way you see fit, put them together. Now you will connect your ESC to a battery and to the receiver and you will see if your engine or motor spins the right way. In case it spins the wrong way, you will simply just have to swap around two wires. Let's take the blue and the red one. Take the blue, where the, where the red went before, like this. By swapping any two wires, it will make the engine spin the other way around. This is it. Very simple. Have a nice day.